wilderness innovation. Real survival kits. Survival shelter. Simplifying survival at wildernessinnovation.com. Hello, Perry Peacock with your wilderness uh, edibles today, another in our series. Um, today I'm up on the uh, south slope of the Uinta Mountains uh, near Vernal, uh, dinosaur land. Uh, I'm up about 9,500 feet elevation here. All right, uh, here's some stuff over here. The yellow blossoms, not that plant, but this little one right here. This little guy right here. This little, little guy here is called uh, stone crop. Very fleshy leaves. And I've got some other close-ups for you, but. Uh, and little flowers come out, yellow flowers. This thing's about, everything I see around here is about maybe three or four inches tall. Very fleshy leaves. In some of the lower areas, our uh, ground cover out through here is gonna be, is gonna be pretty abundant, um, pretty well covered. Where everything here is very small, very short. Uh, it hasn't been that long since the snow melted and won't be that long till some more snow comes again so okay this little plant here is called the stone crop and I've got my little spoon in here to give you an idea this little spork the size of this plant that you see it has a little uh, flower with five petal yellow petals sticking out and you notice on the stem right here little the leaves are very fleshy and plump and they're very close to the stalk the leaves are a little bit waxy coated, um, which allows this plant to thrive in, in rocky drought conditions. Uh, it can pull up water and store it in the leaves and the, the waxy coating prevents it evaporating. But they're very fleshy, they're very good, the flavor is excellent. This plant is all over the place up here, it's very tiny though. Uh, only grows to uh, four to six inches tall. And um, the plant life that's edible up here is considerably different than what you might find at a, at a lower elevation. All right, we see more of this stone crop right here. And you notice it's growing in amongst all these mountain asters. Uh, pretty, pretty little flowers right here. And uh, there's just a thick little crop of all the little leaves that's actually leaves very fleshy leaves if I if I just look out through here like that just all around in here I mean you don't really notice this plant it's so small but as uh, as you walk along and you start looking down um, you start seeing this plant all over the place the little uh, especially when uh, the little yellow flowers start coming out or starting to open but uh, this thing is all over the place here in just five minutes I gathered up enough of this stuff for a meal and uh, and you know it's like I say it's very tasty very moist in your mouth the stone crop is not only a good source of of some nutrition and and uh, some veg veg vegetable matter to eat but it's also so full of moisture and everything that it's actually refreshing. Uh, especially go out in the morning when it's cool and gather it. With your edibles today, uh, Perry Peacock with the stone crop. And uh, if, you're, if you're in the uh, western U.S. or Canada, in the mountains, especially at the higher altitudes, look for this thing and, uh, and try it out. It's very good. Perry Peacock. Wilderness Innovation Simplifying Survival. Now that, that's nice. That's, that's as good as anything you get at the grocery store, let me tell you. Now it's right out here in nature, all just ready for you to eat on.